to our comrades from Zambia and Zimbabwe. We know in Africa, democracy faces a lot of challenges. Africa is still a backward continent. We see coups everywhere now. There is a recurrence of military coup everywhere, especially in Western Africa. But also we know and uh, we condemn the ongoing genocide in Tigray region of Ethiopia. We know the challenges you go through in Zimbabwe. And that's why you have re-established uh, CCC, you have established CCC. It happened to us here, Secretary General has said. But we get inspiration from Zambia. What happened in Zambia was an inspiration to the region. So we must not lose hope. We shall continue to raise our voice and be with anyone against any injustice. With those remarks, na watakia kwanza mkutano mkuu mwema, na watakia kila laheri, mchague vizuri, but also I'd like to take this opportunity now to welcome my brother, my comrade, Nelson Chamisa, president of CCC from Zimbabwe, to address this August gathering. Mr. President, you are warmly welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We may be seated. His Excellency, the President of the Party, my brother, my comrade, Honorable Zito Kabwe. You know, a mountain is without honor to those who live near it. Mount Kilimanjaro may not be that great to you, but it's great for the world. What do I mean? Zito Kabwe is a great leader. <laughs> On the African continent. Is one of us, we fight together, we fight for justice, we fight for freedom, we fight for democracy, we fight dictators, we fight oppression, we fight corruption, we fight marginalization. Thank you, His Excellency. Wazalento, patriots here present, and I'll call you Wazalento. Because you are Wazalento. <laughs> Wazalento, let me salute a great leader, Dorothy Sam, the Parts Acting National Chairperson. Ado Shahib, our Party Secretary General. Otman, Masood Otman, His Excellency, the member of the Central Committee, but also the first Vice President of Zanzibar. <laughs> Dynamites come in small packages. A humble man. Thank you very much. He gave me some very nice uh, uh, food yesterday. <laughs> and he who gives you food is your best relative. He also gave me bungo. <laughs> but I was surprised, you know, the color doesn't change. 
Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Members of the Central Committee here present, the Executive Committee, members of the National Congress. I also want to salute our faith leaders whom I saw, very wise leaders in society. Any nation that does not respect its faith leaders is bound to lose the conscience of that society. Listen to the words of the faith leaders wisely because they are reservoirs of wisdom. Thank you for your words. A city was a lendo. Shusha Tanga. Shusha Tanga. Safari. 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 The journey continues. So some of you may ask, why am I here? I'm here because it's Shusha Tang. <laughs> Safari in Oendere. Yes. We are going forward as Africa. Africa, Shusha Tang. <laughs> yes, we respect the Africa of the old. Yes, we respect Baba Julia. In fact, I feel inspired. I'm stepping on the land that produced one of the giants of Africa, Julius Kambarage Mwalimu Nyere. This is a land of inspiration. It's a land that produces leaders. It's a port that produces begged leaders. Thank you very much, Tanzania. It's not possible to talk about Africa without Tanzania, without Dar es Salaam. That was the headquarters of the liberation struggle. And let it continue be, to be the headquarters of the transformation and resurgence of Africa. Nyerere was a great leader. Great leaders are men of ideas not men of slogans. Great leaders are men who inspire out of love, not hate. Great leaders are people who are able to bring people together, not scatter them. That is Julius Kambarage Nyere. Why am I here? You are looking at a young man, possibly younger than His Excellency, only 43. I've been a member of parliament. I'm an advocate by practice. I've served as a minister under Mr. Mugabe's government together with Tsangrai when they had an inclusive government. After that, when President Tsangrai passed on, he passed on the baton in death. We ran with the baton. We went to an election in 2018. We won overwhelmingly. But you know, in Africa, if you are declared to have won by 48% or 49%, just know that you have won. Yeah. Because in Africa, they always try to play around. It's only in this continent where results are impregnated and produce a different child. It's only in Africa. We won the election. So I'm here as a young leader on the African continent. And my message is, the time for the young has come. <laughs> Only foolish young people throw away the old. The young must take their moment but listen to the wisdom of the elders. <laughs> the problem in Africa is that the elders do not want to go to give the young ones the opportunity. Look at what is happening in Uganda. My brother, I'm seven. It's time to go. Leave young people to go forward. Yes, you have done very well, but you must be succeeded. But this truth is not told. Wazalento, you are patriots. Africa needs Wazalento. You, the people of Africa. 
Stand up, young people. Stand up, the women of Africa. And I want to thank ACT. You have a vibrant women's wing. You have a powerful youth movement. What my sister said from Zambia, if you want to see a successful party and a growing party, look at the youth, look at the women. So allow me to thank ACT for inviting me. Yesterday I was so happy. The technology I saw showed me that this is a growing party. It's a leading party. This is a government in waiting. Don't doubt, because you are leaders, you are champions. Don't doubt. Go and lead Tanzania. Go and lead Africa. Go and lead. You are the leaders. That is a powerful program I saw yesterday. Congratulations, ACT, for what you did. The future is smart. The future is online. The future is what? Purple. Purple. Yeah. I can see purple here, yes. In Zimbabwe, the future is yellow. But in Tanzania, the future is? Purple. Thank you. Thank you, Tanzania. Of course, I've already thanked you. What you did during the liberation struggle, and even now, providing that leadership is very useful for us. Let me also take this opportunity to extend my condolences following the passing on of Tanzania's uh, Zanzibar's first vice president, our chairman, Saif Sharif Ahmad, who died in February 2021. I saw the wife. We salute you. I see that safari. Thank you for continuing to support ACT. But also allow me to salute Tanzanians. You know, I was looking at your history. Since 1961, you have had almost six presidents, isn't it? Successive. That is how it should happen. That is how people must, people must lead and go, save and live. No leader must stay forever. When you stay forever, you start stinking. You start becoming a burden. You start causing problems. <laughs> Leaders come and? Leaders lead and? Leave. Thank you, Tanzania. But it's not enough. Of course, we must also thank Zambia. With all the problems around elections, you have done very well. We want to thank President H.H. for refusing to be the same as those who have gone out. Most of the leaders, when they take office, they will be promising nice things. Once they sit on the chair, they become monsters. They want to consume those who have taken them up. They remove the ladder. They use the ladder to crush those who help them to go up. Thank you, President H.H., for showing the way in the region. And of course, Zambia has had seven presidents since 1964. That's great. In Zimbabwe, we have had one man, President Mugabe, succeeding himself successively, successively. <laughs> of course, we respect him for what he contributed, and may his soul rest in peace. In Africa, we honor our elders. He's our dear departed father. But we must all allow leaders to come and? Wazalendo, we must all allow our leaders to come and? That is what must move this continent going forward. Now, I have a big problem around elections in Africa. Elections in Africa are always contested. Do you know why? Registrar of uh, parties. Because if you are not fair as a referee, you throw away the whistle, you join the other team. People begin to treat you with suspicion. 
That is what has caused problems on the African continent. You know that we go into elections, but elections produce contested results. Why? The rules are not agreed upon. Why? The way we treat each other. I don't understand why we should call one ruling party, the other one opposition. That language is wrong. We must just have government and alternative government. Because in the African setting, once you say he is opposition, there's enmity. You are treated with suspicion. You are arrested. You are assaulted. You are killed. You are maimed. You are harassed because you are opposition. Let's move into mature democracy and have majority party versus minority party. An alternative government and the governing party. So that we don't have this fight around who is in government, who is not in government. Wazalento, this is my message to Africa. Don't victimize those in the alternative. Beauty in the garden comes from different colors. If you have only one color, there is a problem. Let me try my, my Swahili. Bustam isiokuwa na demokrasia haipendezi kwa sababu inaranki moja tu. Did you hear that? We must all understand that what makes a garden beautiful is a variety of colors. Allow them to bloom. All colors have a significance for the beauty of the garden. Africa is a garden. The world is a garden. The diversity of our ideas is important for us to continue to move forward together as a continent. So yes, we have seen what is happening in Burkina Faso, Mali, coups that are beginning to take shape. We do not want the music of the guns. Guns are not guitars. Don't play a gun as if you are playing a guitar. It's not the bongo flare or a tara. Don't play this guitar unnecessarily. It causes death. The new guitar must be the guitar of peace, the guitar of development. The guitar of tolerance, the guitar of transformation, the guitar of Wazalento, respecting the citizen of, Zim of Zimbabwe, of Zambia, of DRC, of Tanzania, of Zanzibar. No voice is insignificant. What is our task? What is our task? As I conclude, because I have already, my duty was just to come here and wish you well. But before wishing you well, you know, we start with status. You don't just go to the main meal. And the main meal is coming, but the starter I had to give you is what we need on the African continent. Tolerance, what we need on the African continent. Peace, what we need on the African continent. Strong institutions, what we need on the African continent. Credible elections. But how do we build on credible elections? You can't have credible elections if you don't have a credible alternative. That's why ACT, you are very important. Strengthen, unite with other alternative political parties to build an alternative that is going to form a government. In our own situation in Zimbabwe, I told you that we won elections. We are going to win again. Zimbabwe has elections next year. And I can tell you, we'll be inviting you to Zimbabwe. CCC is the next Zimbabwean government. Come, 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 come. It's a new dawn in Zimbabwe. There's a wave in the region. It was in Malawi. It went to Zambia. Now it's just peeping over, about to cross into Zimbabwe. And we are ready to welcome this. A great visitor called democracy. A great visitor called election victory. Zimbabwe has been turned yellow. We now have a new kid on the block in Zimbabwe, the Triple C, Citizens Coalition for Change. What is it about? We are saying the citizen, not the politician, must be the determining factor in politics. Wazalento. It's about Wazalento, the patriot, the citizen. 
You, this is your continent. This is your country. Let's build on democracy. Let's build on credible elections. Let's build on institutions, our own African institutions. Let's do what has to be done. I wish you well. I city, I know, may you have a beautiful and a powerful convention. I also wish those who are contesting, I saw them sitting one next to another. That's democracy. All the best. All the best. We say all the best because Kikala Keri. All the best. Keri. All the best to the candidates that are participating. Asande Sana, thank you very much. We wish you well. Wazalendo, we wish you well. May you have a fruitful and a successful convention. Hoping for you to be the next government. And thank you for listening. Thank you for inviting us, Wazalendo. Thank you very much. Wazalendo wangu, wanachama changu.